So, I usually don't do this, but I want to start making videos. Wow, that's one handsome looking guy, huh? And like magic, it's eight years later, and I'm sitting in the same exact spot <laughs> watching that video. Oh man, it was just like, uh, how much more awkward could I be, right? So, um, it's November 15th, 2023. I made my very first video uh, back in 2015 in January. So it's been a very long time since uh, I made that video, but I haven't made a video in about two years, two and a half years or so. And uh, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of excuses or anything, um, except one. When when you're trying to create something and creating videos and stuff like that, you got to be like in the right mindset. And like uh, I've had a lot of things happen. Uh, I feel like we all have had a lot of things happen like the last, especially like the last four or five years. But um, other than that, it's just uh, right now uh, I am definitely doing great and I got a lot of fun things to do around the shop. A lot of I mean, still got the OG project cars, like I have my wagon still, I have my hatch, I have my C30. Uh, and then I have my dad's, you know, part of the shop over there too. So he has got his Nova, his uh, 65 Falcon. Um, and now we have like a lift and like, dude, we just been so blessed. Like my family, uh, we work really hard for what we have and stuff. And I just, <laughs> I just am very excited to make videos again. And I'm gonna like promise, then I'm gonna like, no matter if it's just like little videos, like, or, you know, really, you know, exaggerated, like a lot of editing done and everything like that kind of videos, I'm just excited to start editing, making videos again, and like, uh, just kind of just doing this for the Lord. I feel like the Lord of God has got me, you know, he's got like a calling for me and I'm gonna like try to make this shot work, make it, make something happen. And like, if anything, it's still, going to be awesome because I'm going to be, you know, who doesn't want to like get pumped about like working on your car, you know, like, you know, when you got a project and then like, you know, you keep on working on it and stuff like that. It's so much hard. It so feels like it's so hard to do that nowadays, but I'm not going to stop because like I've been doing a lot lately and we'll catch up with all that in upcoming videos. And I want to show you like how the shop is set up and everything and what is every everything that's been changing in like the last two and a half years or so. So let's go and see what I got. So before I continue with this video any longer, I have to say one thing, like uh, everything that I'm about to show you, I've been just overly blessed uh, with like, a, like just so many things the last two and a half years at the shop, uh, mostly because my dad has been part of the shop and just, I cannot wait to show you guys all about it. So let's begin with my daily driver. Everybody drives a car and this is mine. It's a 1995 Honda Accord. And definitely I want to pick a better day when it's nice and sunny and I can get my car cleaned up or even every one of the projects all cleaned up and give a full description. But this is my 95 Honda Accord daily and it's a wagon. It's got 355,000 miles. Unfortunately, it's an automatic and I've done <laughs> I've done a lot of suspension work on this thing and just uh, freshening up the motor and the trans and like it's been in a small impact in the front. That's why the hood is a different color and stuff. And it's uh, just just this cheap little nice car that everybody knows me for. And uh, but that's kind of like with almost every one of my projects. And that's always been the goal for me. So uh, inside my shop, I of course, I have, you know, the toolbox and then just all the different liquids and everything in here uh just lots of organization got you know the workbench the grinder the bench press i mean not the bench press what am i talking about the shop press and uh spare parts and stuff and of course we have our lift now that is my dad's now, oh before i forget this is my dad's two cars a 74 nova and it's like your standard 383 two-speed power glide locked rear end slicks Slapper bars, all that. And then he has a 65 Ford Falcon that uh, my brother used to own. He bought it like this. Just kept it clean and stuff. He's trying to sell that. But then, I know you guys remember this thing. Yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> Honda Civic hatch, and it's got an H22A swap in it, and it has seen better days because I'm doing currently a core support on it. I have that over here in the corner, and then I'm also working on you know fabricating a custom front bumper and working with Bondo, Rondo, <laughs> all that stuff to try to block it off for uh, air better air distribution over the front of end of the car. So that's what I'm currently doing. And I have a lot of, I mean, every guy that has a race car says they have a lot of um, plans for it, but I do <laughs> want to like definitely catch you guys up on that. And then of course I have my dad's, he's got a 60, I think it's a 62 Volkswagen bug, which is the Baja bug. And it's a class five for like Baja. And it used to have a 2332 uh, Volkswagen motor, which is like born stroked, had big heads on it and stuff. And uh, it was just not running good. So my dad was going to do a K swap. He still might be doing that. I'm not sure. Like he uh, doesn't really tell me much about his projects. And then like, of course, like my bro my son has his quad over there and we have our bikes. And then he also has his little race car. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> It's a power uh, uh, Power Wheels Corvette that we used to be pink and we painted it yellow, stickered it up, and then we did a 24 valve swap with two motorcycle batteries. And this thing is just a ripping machine. And now let's go on an adventure, shall we? To the 1972 Chevy C30 that's on the corner. So this thing <laughs> I've had for so like so much longer than any of my other vehicles. It's a 1972 Chevy C30. It's a farm truck. And uh, recently I just done some engine work and stuff, but it needs brakes. It needs uh, cooling, you know, like a, like radiator fan trans lines, all that kind of stuff. But it's got fairly good tires on it and the motor is good and the transmission moves and it just it's a project car in itself. Uh, but definitely excited to work on this thing here in the future. And that, my friends, is just a quick little tour of the shop. Uh, man, I just, I have so much I want to say on camera, but man, you know, I just, what I got to do is I just got to make a couple videos, you know, one of like a full, uh, just description on the wagon, one on the hatch, one on the C30 and tell you guys what my plans are this winter because right now it's November 15th and we're going into winter right now. And it's like, what do I want to work on? Do I want to work on the hatch, work on the truck? Because like next year I have to go drag racing. And like this year uh, I did do a little bit of roll racing in the hatch and just, I got uh, at least, I'll make a video for each project car. I have about four or five videos I definitely want to edit and then I'll get the, the channel starting. And like, I really am just, I want to do this for two reasons. Again, I feel like God really like wants me to just, if anything, it's just like keeping me entertained and I like making videos. Uh, and then two, it would be really cool to be able to do this for a living. I mean, that's like a long shot. Everybody that's on YouTube wants to do this for a living, but like, you know, I feel like <laughs> I could, I think I could do it, you know? And, uh, I, I'm just basically doing whatever the Lord has wanted me to do because like he's blessed me with so much and I can't wait to show you guys, show you guys what he's done for me and everything in the future. So thank you guys and uh, I'll see you guaranteed in another video coming up soon.